friends, a couple weeks ago, we heard about how Jesus rose from the dead. He died on the cross to take our sins away, and then he rose again. Then he appeared to his disciples a few times, and he saw Thomas, because remember, Thomas didn't believe he really was alive until he touched his hands. Well, today and this week, we're going to hear about how Jesus ascends into heaven. It's called ascension. Can you say ascension? Ascension. And it's where Jesus goes back up into heaven and he stays there and he's getting a place ready for us in heaven for one day for when we get to go up there. So Jesus ascended into heaven. We're going to hear that story today for Jesus time. After Jesus came back to life from the dead, he made sure many people saw him. He spent time with his friends and taught them more about the Bible. Jesus taught his friends that he is the Savior the Bible talked about. He came to die and rise from the dead to take away the sins of all people. Jesus wanted his friends to know God's word so well they could tell it to others. One time, Jesus told his friends, go and wait in the city of Jerusalem. I will send you a very special gift. God the Holy Spirit will come to you. He will make your heart strong and ready to tell others about me. Another time, Jesus took his friends to a hill. Again, he told his friends, God the Holy Spirit will come to you and make you strong. Then you will go out into all the world and tell others about me. Jesus raised his hands to bless his friends. As he did this, he began to move up, up, up into the sky. After a while, a cloud covered Jesus and his friends could no longer see him. Jesus had gone back to his home in heaven. Suddenly, two angels stood near Jesus' friends. The angels asked, Why are you standing here looking up into the sky? Jesus has gone back to heaven, but someday he will come back, just as you have seen him go. The friends were filled with joy. They went to the city of Jerusalem to wait for God the Holy Spirit to come, just as Jesus had told them to do. So Jesus had his friends go to a hill. And when they were on the hill, he said, God, the Holy Spirit will come to you and make you strong. Now go and tell others about me. And then he raised up his hands and he started slowly going up, up, up into the sky until a cloud covered him. And he went up to heaven in his home. And then two angels came by Jesus' friends and said, why are you standing here looking into the sky? Jesus has gone back to heaven, but will come back someday, just like you saw him go. And his friends were happy and filled with joy, and they went to wait for the um, God, the Holy Spirit, to come to them, which we'll hear that story next week. So, Jesus is in heaven. Jesus is in heaven. Someday I'll be there too. Someday I'll be there too. For Jesus died to take away, for Jesus died to take away the naughty things I do. The naughty things I do. Jesus is in heaven. Jesus is in heaven. Someday I'll be there too. Someday I'll be there too. For Jesus died to take away, for Jesus died to take away the naughty things I do, the naughty things I do. So Jesus ascended into heaven and is waiting for us So for when we come up someday to heaven. All right, friends, I have a new song I want to teach you, and it goes like this. I am Jesus, little lamb, ever glad at heart I am. For my shepherd gently guides me, knows my needs and well provides me, loves me every day the same, even calls me by my name. I am Jesus, little lamb, 
ever glad at heart I am. For my shepherd gently guides me, knows my needs and well provides me, loves me every day the same. Even calls me by my name. We'll sing that song all week. All right, let's fold our hands and ask Jesus to wash away our sins. Jesus, Savior, wash away all that I've done wrong today. Make me ever more like you, good and gentle, kind and true. Amen. Remember, Jesus loves you.